Hello Akumba fans. The request has come across my desk to show how to set a home position specific for a an end of program type uh, motion. Calling up G30P1 delivers all three axes to a tool change position and that's not necessarily desirable for the end of a program. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a new home position that's simply for delivering the Z to its uh, tool change position and perhaps moving the Y forward if we um, want that for the end of our program. So the first thing to do is to deliver the machine to its tool change position in Z. Rather than try to do it arbitrarily, I'm just going to go into MDI and command G30P1 and execute this. And what it's going to do is it's going to deliver the Z axis to its tool change position. And in my case, on this MU, it'll move to the X and Y for tool change as well. Now, if you're using a horizontal, this is the same procedure, same with a vertical. But the first thing to do is put the Z right where you want it. And in our case, we're also going to move the Y forward. So I'm just going to simply select the Y and move it all the way forward. We're there. So now I want to have the machine memorize this position for the end of program. So I'm going to go to the parameters screen. And the first thing I want to do is hit display change and arrow over one time for menu change. I want to make sure that all display is checked here. If it's not, we could have our desired parameter screened out. But I'm checked, so I'm good to go. Now I'm going to scroll down until I find the parameter called home position. There it is. In my case, it's number 26. Yours may vary. But now we have all of our home positions, HP1 through HP32. And I'm just going to pick one that is not already utilized. Now for you with any machine, HP1 needs to stay where it is. That's our tool change position. If you're running a horizontal, two through four need to remain intact as well because those are pallet change positions. So I'm simply going to find one that's not populated, in this case, HP10. And I know my Z is currently sitting right where I want it for tool change position on the physical machine. So I'm going to calibrate and push input. And it memorizes where the machine is now in terms of Z. And in this case, I want to deliver the Y axis as well. So I'll do the same thing with it. Calibrate, input, and now it's got values for my home position 10. I'm not done yet. I need to item down one time to my home position movement order, find HP 10. Now, if there are no values in the axes, it will not move, even though in a previous step, we added numbers here. So what I need to do is select my Z axis. I'm going to set that to be the first axis to move, so I'll put in a 1. I also want the Y axis to move, so I'll set that as position number or as movement order number 2. So now when I command G30 HP10, it'll retract the Z first and then move the Y forward. You could also add C's, A's, and X's if you needed to, but in this case, we're not going to do that. So now I'm just going to go back to my machine and in manual mode I'll jog everything up so that you can see you can see that it's going to move where I want. Let's move everybody away from its its normal positions because uh, I want to prove that it's really doing what I told it to do. So now everybody's moved away and in MDI mode, I'm going to command G30P10 because this is my new my new code that, by the way, will be in the end of the program to dictate that that's where I want to go. Enter that and hit cycle start. And you'll notice that the Z moves to position and the Y moves to its position as well. So you can set that wherever you want and then set your parameter for HP10 to be wherever you want to go. Hope this helps you.